I'm back to working on my uh, GOAT Ibex chassis. I wanted to show you guys how this process was going though and actually show you uh, how I'm cutting and bending the tubes and then finally I'll, I'll weld a couple on as well. So this is where I'm at right now. I Since my last video, I welded on my A to C pillar, the eyebrow and my the crossbar between the B pillars. What I'm going to do now is bend, cut and bend the rear belt line bars. They'll come back, bend in, and then tie uh, into some uprights that'll be in the in the rear here that I'll also do. Uh, I'll probably do those off camera since they're just uh, straight pieces, no bends or anything like that. So first of all, uh, I know the tubes I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna come over here. These are the, the two pieces. They are single bends. They're not the complex bends like I have on the A to C pillar. So first thing I'm going to do, uh, I'll set this camera up. Here. All right. First thing I'm going to do is measure out the, uh, well, actually first thing I'm going to do is do the bend on this one. The tubes long, but that doesn't matter. I'm going, the reason I'm going to do this is because I, these bends sometimes have a tendency to shorten the tube on one side or the other, just based on how it pulls through the die. So I'm going to give myself a little bit of room on this side, uh, between an eighth and a quarter. Uh, I'm going to wrap some blue painter's tape around the, uh, rough beginning point of the bend, just about where it starts. And like I said, I'll give myself a little fudge room here. I'll mark the start point of my bend. I'll bring this over to my bender, which I've got set up over here. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put that mark on the right at the beginning where it touches the die. I've got a rough idea of how much the bend is. So I just put a little bit of a bend in it and then I'll check it against my template. awkward with the, the length of tube and trying to do it in the camera, but I went a little bit past what I'm going to do, so I'm going to straighten it out. Just the I've got a small hole drilled in this, this stool for some random reason. I uh, decided to use it. So I put it about to the bend, and I'll just straighten it a little bit doesn't take much. So fit it to the template once more and turns out I'm about right on. So now I'm going to mark the start and end point of the tube and I'm going to cut this thing off to length. After that I'll repeat this whole process making the other side and then I'm going to weld it onto the chassis. So I'm going to pause the video and I'll pick back up after I've got both tubes done and I'm ready to start welding. All right, I've got the belt line bar in place. This joint is just sitting there. Uh, I've welded in these two rear uprights, but that top bar is just resting in place. So that's the joint I'll be welding first. Then I will attach it at the uh, at where the B pillar starts underneath that. Um, then I'll follow across to this side. This side's a little long. I'm going to cut it down before I attach the other. Um, but I'm going to weld those this joint first, and we'll see how it comes out. So I don't know if the, everything will stay uh, steady enough while I'm here. That block is holding my belt line bar angle for me. So I'm uh, I'm just kind of hoping at this point that it's it'll uh, stay in place.
it looks like it held good enough. Um, I got a, let's see if I can get it to focus a little bit there. Uh, tack that corner. I, I need to fully weld it all. Um, none, the whole chassis isn't, none of it's fully welded yet. Um, but as you can see, that's tacked in place, so I'm going to continue on this process, get the rest of these tubes put in, and I'll uh, show you what it looks like at the end, hopefully. So that's this part of the video. I'll see if I have, how far I get tonight if I show you a completed base, but thanks.